Mideus, mixed salts of a single entity amphetamine product, is a triple bead, extended release treatment for ADHD. Mideus is indicated for the treatment of ADHD in patients greater than or equal to 13 years. Patients less than or equal to 12 years experienced higher plasma exposure at the same dose and higher rates of adverse reactions, mainly insomnia and decreased appetite. Note that CNS stimulants, including Mideus, other amphetamine-containing products, and methylphenidate, have a high potential for abuse and dependence. Assess the risk of abuse prior to prescribing and monitor for signs of abuse and dependence while on therapy. Mideus has the following contraindications. Known hypersensitivity to amphetamines or other ingredients of Mideus. Angioedema and anaphylactic reactions have been reported with other amphetamines. Use with monoamine oxidase inhibitors, MAOIs, or within 14 days of last MAOI dose due to increased risk of hypertensive crisis. Mideus uses a triple bead delivery mechanism. The amphetamine dose is distributed equally across three bead types. The first type of bead, the immediate release bead, contains an inactive core coated by a layer of mixed amphetamine salts. The second type of bead is a delayed release bead containing a delayed release coating. The third bead, Another delayed release bead has two coatings. The first is porous, which allows for a slow release of amphetamine. The second coating is a delayed release coating. Avoid use in patients with known structural cardiac abnormalities, cardiomyopathy, serious heart arrhythmia, coronary artery disease, and other serious heart problems. Sudden death, stroke, and myocardial infarction have been reported in adults with CNS stimulants at recommended doses as well as sudden death in pediatric patients with structural cardiac abnormalities and other serious heart problems while taking CNS stimulants at recommended doses. Further evaluate patients who develop exertional chest pain, unexplained syncope, or arrhythmias during Mideus treatment. CNS stimulants cause increased blood pressure, mean increase approximately two to four millimeters mercury, and heart rate, mean increase approximately three to six beats per minute. Monitor for tachycardia and hypertension. The three bead types within Mideus release at different pH levels, enabling amphetamine delivery over time as the beads travel through the digestive tract. The first bead provides immediate amphetamine release in the stomach. The second bead, a delayed release bead, releases amphetamine at pH 5.5, predicted to occur in the proximal region of the small intestine. The third bead, another delayed release bead, releases amphetamine at pH 7.0, predicted to occur in the distal region of the small intestine. Exacerbation of pre-existing psychosis may exacerbate symptoms of behavior disturbance and thought disorder in patients with a pre-existing psychotic disorder. Induction of a manic episode in patients with bipolar disorder may induce a mixed or manic episode in patients with bipolar disorder. Prior to initiating treatment, Screen for risk factors for developing a manic episode, for example, comorbid or history of depressive symptoms, or a family history of suicide, bipolar disorder, and depression. New psychotic or manic symptoms, at recommended doses, may cause psychotic or manic symptoms, for example, hallucinations, delusional thinking, or mania, in patients with no prior history of psychotic illness or mania. Discontinue if symptoms occur. CNS stimulants are associated with weight loss and slowing of growth rate in pediatric patients. Monitor weight and height. Treatment may need to be interrupted in patients not growing or gaining weight as expected. Mideus is not approved in pediatric patients less than or equal to 12 years. CNS stimulants are associated with peripheral vasculopathy, including Raynaud's phenomenon. Signs and symptoms are usually intermittent and mild. Very rare sequelae include digital ulceration and or soft tissue breakdown. 
Careful observation for digital changes is necessary during treatment with ADHD stimulants. Further evaluation and referral may be required. In a pharmacokinetic study in healthy adults, a single dose of Mideus 37.5 mg capsules provided comparable plasma concentration profiles of amphetamine to that seen with a 25 mg dose of MAS extended release, followed by a 12.5 mg dose of immediate release amphetamine administered eight hours later. The triple bead design of Mideus allows for extended release of amphetamine. Mideus may lower the convulsive threshold in patients with prior history of seizure, prior EEG abnormalities in the absence of seizures, and in patients without a history of seizures and no prior EEG evidence of seizures. Discontinue if a seizure occurs. Increased risk of serotonin syndrome when co-administered with serotonergic agents, for example, SSRIs, SNRIs, tryptans, but also during overdosage situations. Discontinue Mideus if it occurs and initiates supportive treatment. To avoid substitution errors and overdosage, do not substitute for other amphetamines on a milligram per milligram basis because of different amphetamine base compositions and differing PK profiles. The most common adverse reactions in patients with ADHD, incidence greater than or equal to 5% and at a rate at least twice placebo are pediatrics, 13 years and older, insomnia, decreased appetite, decreased weight, irritability, and nausea. Adults, insomnia, decreased appetite, decreased weight, dry mouth, increased heart rate, and anxiety. Mideus may cause fetal harm. Breastfeeding is not recommended during Mideus treatment. For more information, please visit www.shire.com.